Hello everyone, in this video I'll be comparing the TP-Link AX55, that is the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router, to the TP-Link AX73, which is the AX5400 Wi-Fi 6 router also. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. If you're new to my channel and you find the content of my channel interesting, please consider subscribing. This will greatly help the channel and I will really appreciate it. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. So why I am comparing these two routers? These are like the mid-range routers in the line of Wi-Fi 6 router of TP-Link. And I was hesitating on which router to purchase. So I thought maybe you are hesitating also. So this video will help you in your choice. Both routers have almost the same features. So both routers have OFDMA, that is the technology that manages better the traffic on Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi 6 networks. Both routers have new MIMO technology, both routers have VPN, they have Home Shield, they have guest networks, and so on. So feature-wise, these routers are almost identical. Now, also connection-wise, these two routers have the same connections. So both routers, if you see at the back of each router, they have a WAN port, that is a gigabit port, that is a blue port, so it is here. And both routers has four gigabit LAN ports, and both routers have also USB 3 uh, port. So this is the AX55, and this is the port on the AX73. So connection-wise, also both routers have the same connection. Now, when there is a difference between the two routers, is that the processor of the AX73 is a little bit faster than the processor of the AX55, and the aggregate speed of the AX73 is of course higher than the AX55. So the AX73 has an aggregate speed of 5.4 gigabits per second, and the AX3000 has an aggregate speed of 3 gigabits per second. So I can keep talking and talking about these routers, but the best test is the real user's test, and this video will cover the real user's test. So the tests I'll be performing are speed tests, copying from and to the router, on a USB key that is very fast, so it will not be a bottleneck for the routers. I'll be also performing copying files from a server on my network. I'll be performing an internet speed test, which is the most important test, in my opinion, for you guys to see, and girls. And also, I'll be performing a range test on both routers. So, without further ado, let's start with the tests. In this first test here, I'm copying a large file from the USB key that is plugged directly into the router to my PC. And this USB key, as I told you before, it is very fast, so in no way it will be a bottleneck. And here I'm achieving speeds of 100 megabytes per second on the AX73 and 34 megabytes per second on the AX55. So this first operation is won by the AX73. Now the second operation I'm doing, this is the second test, I'm copying the same large file from my PC to the USB key that is on the router. And here also the AX73 is like double the speed of the AX55. It is achieving speeds of around 57 megabytes per second, whereas the AX55 is achieving speeds of only 30 megabytes per second. And now this test here, I'm copying the same large file from a PC on my network, and both PCs on the network has Wi-Fi 6 card. And here, the AX55 is surprisingly a little faster than the AX73. And I repeated this operation like three times, and at each time, the AX55 was a little bit faster than the AX73. And it was achieving speeds of 59 megabytes per second, whereas the AX73 was achieving speeds of around 50 megabytes per second. Here I'm performing an internet speed test. I have 120 megabits per second internet speed. It goes up to 140 sometimes. And this is the case here. And there is no load on the network here whatsoever. And both routers are achieving the expected speeds here. So it is 140 megabits per second download. And it's 20, 21 megabits per second upload. In this following test, I'm simulating a typical charging and loading on the network. So here I have two TVs streaming at 4K. I have two iPads also playing videos. And I have a Google Home Mini that is playing some music. And as you notice here, the AX73 is achieving speeds 
of around 99 megabits per second still with all this load and the AX55 is achieving speeds just a little bit less at 95 megabits per second and to be sure that this test is accurate I repeated it as all the tests that I performed earlier three times and each time I came to the same results so here I'm testing the range of these routers. I live in a condo building and I went out of my apartment and I walked in the hall of the building around 50 yards for both routers before they cut. So just before they cut, I tested the internet speed and the AX55 had a slight advantage here at 17 megabits per second, whereas the AX73 was achieving 15 megabits per second. As a summary, I'm gonna say that you cannot go wrong with either of these routers. Both routers are really very good routers and they provide many features and the latest technologies like OFDMA, Wi-Fi 6 and so on. Where the AX73 has a big advantage on the AX55 is with USB sharing. So the USB sharing is much faster on the AX73. So if you're using your router to back up to it, like if you attach an external hard drive or a NAS drive to back up to it and to stream videos from it and so on, it's better if you go with the AX73. But otherwise, the AX55 is a very, very good choice. So that was my comparison of the TP-Link AX73 versus the TP-Link AX55 Wi-Fi 6 routers. I hope that my video will help you in your decision on what router you will buy and if you like this video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly i want to thank you all once again for watching and see you in the next video